Hey everyone, I'm Pradeep. Welcome to this channel. So in this new video, I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful clay render in Blender. Clay renders are really nice. It is perfect if you want to break down your lighting setup or combine them with uh, wireframes to display your topology. I do it all the time with almost every project. For me, it's another way of aesthetically presenting our 3D works. Uh, let's get into this video. So for the demonstration, I have this isometric scene here. So if you are interested in creating this isometric scene, I have published a course on my Gumroad that will teach you how to create this isometric scene step by step. It is fully narrated in real time. So I will also teach you how to do two different lighting setups day and night and also do a final animation uh, like this. So if you are interested, please go check that out. Now back to the video, so the important element of the clay render is clay material, not essentially the one you see on the stop motion videos, uh, just a, a shader with a solid color. So let's uh, create a cube now, press uh, shift here, go to mesh, let's add a cube. This cube is uh, just to hold the material, so let's move this out of the site. Uh, let's create a new material, let's uh, name this clay. For a clay material, I usually like to go with a muted blue or orange color or just white uh, with slightly uh, toned down value. Let's go with the blue color for this scene. So use the hex code if you want the same color as me. So I'm gonna uh, use this code that you see here, CBDEF3. So if I move out the cube, you can see. So this is the color that we are going to use for this scene. So let's get into the camera view. So one tip while picking the color, don't go all the way up in the value slider that you see here. So always tone it down slightly above from the maximum level. So it would be uh, too bright if you go all the way up and won't settle well with the viewer's eyes. So always dial it down a little bit. So that works fine in my opinion. Okay guys, now that we have created a material, Let's see how we can apply the material without actually assigning it to each and every uh, object that you see on this scene. If you go to the view layers option over here and if you scroll all the way down, you can see an option called material overwrite. So this option will allow you to override all the materials in the scene with the one you provide, essentially the clay material. Click here and let's select our clay material. So this will uh, reference this clay material to all these objects so essentially uh, as the name suggests it's oh, it will override all these materials and the samples here represents the count just for the override material so leaving it at zero will refer to the sample count that was set in the render properties i'm going to leave it to zero uh, and it will use our uh, scene uh, render samples here 100 now everything is set once you are happy with all the settings lights and uh, you can hit F12 to render out our scene. So if I go to the render preview, you can see the clay material in action. This is how it works. You can hit F12 or go to render and render your image out. This came out really wonderful. So that is another way you can uh, push it a little further to uh, push the clay render into the next level. So let's uh, see how to do that. Let's minimize this tab. Switch back to the material preview mode. So while the cube is uh, selected, go to the shading tab and let's bring in a color ramp here. Let's bring in a object info node. So essentially we are going to use this color ramp to uh, provide multiple colors here and use the random info node to uh, plug into the factor and it will reference different colors and therefore we can uh, take the clear render into a different level. So let's plug the random option into the factor. Let's pick the color into the base color. So pick out the colors that, that you like. So I'm going to go with these four colors. So once you have picked your color, uh, go to this drop down icon over here and choose distribute stops evenly so this will distribute the color stops across the slider evenly or if you want any one of the color to dominate your render for instance let's say if you want the orange color to dominate your render 
then you can uh, just uh, slide these slider and move this uh, here so this will uh, take the most space and therefore the orange color will dominate in your renders i want each of these colors to distribute evenly so i'm gonna stick with a uh, even space so let's uh, go to the layout mode and let's uh, switch to the render preview and see how it looks so now that everything is set once you are happy with all the settings then you can hit f12 and render out your scene so this turned out really great you can always experiment with different color palette to see what works for you okay guys i hope you have enjoyed the video if you find this video useful please show your support by liking this video and subscribing the channel this means a lot to me if you have any queries please leave them in the comment section i'll help you out okay guys that's it for this video take care i'll see you on the next one